Okay, this is a 2015 Hyundai Santa Fe. You know, it's nine years old now, and something's happened to this that I had to have repaired today, and it's an absolute pain in the rectum. Inside this box is what I want to show you was the problem. In a lot of these newer cars, we've all got uh, some form of, here we go, electronic park brake. We press the button or pull it up and the park brake is on or disengaged. Really nice, really fancy. We all love that, don't we? No, we don't. We hate it. Because chances are very, very high that one day what happened to me will happen to you. And what happened? The electronic parking brake system failed and it jams up the rear tires. And you ain't going nowhere, baby. No siree. And uh, what happened is uh, my wife was, you know, going somewhere and then basically when she wanted to take off, the electronic parking brake system or the module uh, failed and seized up and then the car was stuck. What I've got in here is, this is called an EPB, electronic parking brake module or assembly. This is it. And the way it works is there's a motor in here, there's a um, controller board in there. You know, when the power is applied, this cable is lengthened out. And in this video, I'll open this up and show you what it looks like inside, but I'll just explain this issue. When it works, you know, it, um, it lengthens and then it retracts, kind of like a winch. And it'll apply the handbrake on and off, all because of this EPB. Now, here's the thing. I can buy one of these for $220 off AliExpress. It'll take about three weeks to get here. I live in Australia. I can get it also off an Australian website for $350, probably $400 sent to my door. The problem is I need the car now. Well, let me just be upfront with it. This costed me just shy of $3,000 to get fixed up. Man, my heart almost stopped, but I need the car. I could try to buy this, and I could try to install it myself, and in fact, I've got a bit of an idea how to do it, but it'll take me a whole day, but I've got to wait three weeks for this part to come, and, uh, and we need the vehicle. We need the vehicle to, you know, for family purposes, etc. Had to have it towed to the mechanic, and that's fine, you know, by the time they you know, investigated it and saw what was required. Their best price that they could get this for, and this is from Kima, Kia, and Kia and Hyundai, basically very similar and identical. Uh, they had two of these in stock for $1,900. $1,900, and then we're talking about removal of this old one, and then installation of this into the vehicle. And that is a log of work. But what the mechanic was saying is that Kia, and I think Hyundai as well, they're starting to stock these. Once upon a time, they never had these in stock. This was a really specialized type of module that you had to order and get. But now they always got them in stock because this is becoming more and more of a common problem. These are beginning to fail. And you start to do a quick check on Google and people are starting to experience this same issue where this is failing and the tires lock up and they're not working and people are resorting to all sorts of means to either try to fix it themselves and sometimes that means cutting this cable. It depends where you are, how dangerous it can be that your car simply is not moving any longer. So you can start to see the issue, right? So that's something to be aware of. We all like to have our fancy electronic parking system and handbrake, but uh, when it locks, it locks and you are stuck. Let's take this inside and open it up. All right, so we're gonna take this apart and uh, I'm just reeling from the fact that I had to pay uh, just about $3,000 just to have this thing uh, uh, installed. Gosh, so I guess the purpose of this video is just to give you a heads up that if you got any form of electronic handbrake system in your car, you can bet your bottom dollar something's gonna go wrong at some point. For me, it was nine years later. For other people I've read, it's four years, five years. Yeah, anyways, these are cables and this is the ends. Uh, let's open it up and take a close look.
So, I can get this here in Australia for 400 bucks, mate. But you try getting it through Hyundai or Kia, $1,900. Like, seriously, that's... Okay, open the gig up. There we go. We've got a motor. Now, I was told, and to be fair, I can smell it, that the motor is burnt out. And this is sort of like the winch setup. So you would apply power to the motor and this would, you know, pull it in and go, joop, joop, something like that. Here is the controller board right there. There is a section over here that is opened up and you can see this gets plugged into your vehicle. Your vehicle would have some kind of a, uh, a cable or a, a plug that connects in here. And this is the lid. So it's either gonna be this, one guy says he had to only replace this. Someone else said that this was the problem. This is the MOGA. And in my instance, the mechanic tested this and says this is faulty and there's some smoke or smell coming from this, like this is not working. But to buy the whole thing off AliExpress here in Australia, I can get this delivered within about three weeks for $220. It's kind of one of those scenarios where, you know, you need the car. It's like you've gone to the dentist and he said, uh, you know, check out, you know, my teeth and fix any problems that you see. Your mouth's wide open. And then so he starts digging around and drilling out and says, oh, yeah, we're going to do a, you know, this particular job on you and it's going to be $1,000. What do you want to do? Do you want me to fix it or do you want me to leave it? And you're kind of like, ah, stuck. In the same thing here, the mechanic had to diagnose it and then it was all, you know, all the rear wheels were taken off. You know, he had to drop a lot of things in order to access and see what the issue was. You know, he's like, okay, what do you want to do? It's going to cost this amount to buy this and it'll cost, uh, you know, almost a thousand dollars just to do the, the labor. They did it all in the day. That was fantastic. We got our vehicle up and running again, but $3,000 later. Are we suckers? Uh, I, I don't know, but we needed the car or else what do I do? Try to get the car towed back home and then uh, wait for this module for three weeks and then attempt to do it myself. So you can see the dilemma kind of stuck. Anyways, let's see if I had to pull this out. Let's try to undo a couple of things here. Oh look, this just comes out. So I've removed three screws, right? And then out, out comes the motor. If I had to remove and replace this part, this whole component comes out. Must be like a retaining clip. Oh yes, then this comes out. Okay. Okay, that just comes off. There we go. All right. And there we have it. So this is obviously the controller board that uh, could be a issue. I'll just show you this as we pull out this motor. This motor can actually um, get disconnected completely. And that's what it looks like. We've got the terminals there. This screws up and down like this, changing the length here when we turn it like this. You can hear the motor commutator turning inside. The cable here hooks into this. See that? Over on this side, we've got a similar setup and this hooks into this. And that can slide forward and backwards and what you'll notice that it does, I'll just bring the other cable here. Okay, here is the part that connects onto your rear tire and there's a little link, basically a screw that hooks in there and this will adjust, look at this. See that? That's off, I think. And then it, it's engaged, one or the other, I'm not too sure. However, it happens on both sides and you've got this cable just here on this side and it controls this other end as well, the lengthening and the shortening of it. So yeah, 
that's the action of this EPB, thanks to the motor and thanks to the controller board, like so. I thought this would just be interesting just to show you what it's like and give you an idea that uh, the day is coming when you may have to spend, uh, I don't know, $1,900 as well, unless if you're in a position where you can wait for three weeks and then attempt to do it yourself. However, uh, I was not. I'm gonna go cry now, and uh, that's the end of this video. See you later, mate.